Bennett, and today I'm going to show you how to play Led Zeppelin's Cashmere. You're going to need to use a dadgad tuning. So you're going to tune the sixth, second, and first string lower or down a whole step to D, A, and D. And you can leave the fourth, third, and second strings alone. All right, let's get started. Let's start with the first finger at the second fret, third string, and the fourth finger at the fifth fret, fifth string. You're gonna strum strings five, four, and three, three times, and then rest. And I do a down, up, down there. Now this is only the very first time. We don't do this again. Then we're gonna stay here and strum it three more times. Then pluck the sixth string open. Next, move your first finger to the third fret and strum three times, rest, and then three times and sixth string open. Then we're gonna go to the fourth fret, third string. I like to switch out my pinky for my second finger here. You can do whatever feels good for you. And again, with the three strums rest, three strums open. And then this note on the third string continues to ascend. Now it's at the fifth fret, so we've got two fingers on the fifth fret. And same pattern with three strums rest, three strums open. And then finally, the note on the third string moves up a whole step to the seventh fret. I'm using my pinky here. Most people would probably want to use their third finger. Um, and we've still got the lower note on the fifth fret, fifth string, strumming three times and then a rest. And then we transition back to the second fret and go back to the beginning, which was three strums and an open. All right, so I'm gonna do the entire thing from the beginning without talking. repeats over and over again. Now when you're ready to transition to the next part, the riff is going to end here at the fifth and fifth frets. You're never going to make it to this seventh fret one. All right, now let's take a look at the next riff. First, I'll go through it slowly without talking. I'm going to take it from riff one the last time so you can hear the transition. <laughs> fret strings one and three. I'm going to strum the top four strings and I'm using my second and third fingers here. Then the first string note stays and you lift off your second finger and put your first finger down on the 11th fret. Strum it one time. So we've got and that pattern is going to Continue to repeat. Next, go to the 10th fret. So that's 10 to 9 on the third string. And 10 stays on the first string. So all together. Next, go to the 7th fret. And these, uh, the strum here is going to be a little bit faster. 
then the fifth fret, and the third fret. So all together, it sounds like this. And then finally, go to the fourth string, third fret, collect just that string, then fourth string, second fret, and fourth string open. And when you pluck the open, go start to move immediately back to the 12th fret. So you can get there on time to uh, make the repeat. And then, so that uh, part is going to repeat over and over again. And when you go back to the first riff, you don't start it at the beginning. You actually start it on the third fret and fifth fret. So let me play that transition from riff two back to riff one so you can work on connecting them. Etc. So that's all there is to it. Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. It's not the whole song, but it's the two most important riffs of the song. So I hope you enjoy learning it. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.